Come on, Char. It was just a few days ago that a friend of mine, Paul Pelosi, was attacked in his own home. No, he wasn't. Somebody breaks into his house looking for his wife, Nancy. That, ain't, the house. that ain't true. And thankfully, he's, he's back home now, and we're going to let investigators do their jobs. But, but here's what's clear, Pittsburgh. This habit we've ha we have of, of demonizing political opponents, of saying crazy stuff. Hmm. It creates a dangerous climate. And, and when you have people who are in leadership positions who promote or ignore mm. over-the-top rhetoric. Listen to this, y'all. And then when there's an attack like this, they make light of it. They joke about it. Then more people are going to get hurt. Mm. And more than that, we violate the basic spirit of more our people democracy. people are going to get hurt. Hmm. The spirit of who we are as Americans. That's a threat. And by the way, it's not just politicians, whether it's out of malice or ignorance. We've seen recently big celebrities reposting vile anti-Semitic conspiracy theories online. Y'all hear this? <laughs> and, 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 and I, you don't have to be a student of history to understand how dangerous that is. Really? And how unacceptable it is. Really? And, and, and I, I don't know when we decided that we were just going to believe everything we read on the Internet. Mm. Here's, here's you a only supposed to believe your ass, huh? If you read or see something online that has some grand theory about how some particular group, whether it's black folks or white folks or Jews or Catholics or immigrants or gays, if you read or see something that says they're the cause of all your problems, then it's safe to say it is garbage. It is a lie. It is dangerous poison. We've got to call it out. And put an end to that kind of mindset. Really? Really? Did y'all hear that bullshit? <laughs> huh, family, I don't think we kept in mind on how much we was going to have to evaluate all the sellouts during these times. Look how much attention they're giving something like this. It's so much other shit going on, and look what they're focused on. The ex-president, no, nobody give a fuck about what Obama said. So why aren't you talking about this? The public don't care about that. Obama, can you please talk about Pizzagate? We want to know about the flight laws at Epstein Island. What's funny is they thought they was manipulating the public, but what they're really doing is they're revealing themselves. Uh-huh, them lies ain't flying the same no more. You can't manipulate the people the same anymore. <laughs> Obama and Michael, they funny, ain't they?